This is a short video about um, what an open ball is in a metric space. And so um, if you didn't watch the last video, it was about what a metric is on a set. And so given a set X, if you've got a set X and you've got a metric on it, remember a metric was like a distance function. It's a way to talk about um, how far apart two elements of your set are. Uh, so we have a metric D, we're gonna call a set that has a metric, a metric space. And so what we usually write them as like a pair, X comma D, uh, a metric space. And so what uh, I wanted to talk about in this video here is what's the idea of an epsilon ball. And so there's some notation that goes along with it. Um, in this case, we're gonna say an epsilon ball. If you've taken a real analysis class, you know that epsilon is in your head kind of implies super duper tiny numbers, say. And so an epsilon ball, um, say centered at some point, say little x in your set x, well, the way we're gonna denote it is something like b. We'll put a subscript down here, and that subscript refers to like how are you measuring distances on your set, so we'll call that d. Um, and then what we'll do is in the first slot, we'll put where is this ball supposed to be centered at, and in the second slot, we'll put what uh, this number epsilon is. You should think of epsilon here as the radius of this ball. And so I'm gonna draw you a picture in a minute that we can kind of heuristically think about one of these as. But as far as uh, set notation goes, it's uh, the set of say, all other points y that are in your set x, such that the distance between x and y is less than epsilon. So if I was to draw you a picture of this, um, let's say in maybe the most an intuitive example would be, um, for example, let's say that X is the set of real numbers. And let's say that D, D of X, Y is our usual metric on the real numbers, which was absolute value of X minus Y. Remember just figuring out how far apart are two numbers on a number line X and Y. Uh, and so in this case, what if I picked a particular value of X? You know, what is B? D, let's say zero, one look like. So how should I interpret this? I'm telling you that I want the, the ball centered at the point zero on the number line uh, of radius one. So I wanna talk about, this should just be all points. So this is equal to, in words, it might be good to write down, all points or all numbers in this case, since my set is the real numbers. So let's say all numbers um, whose distance from zero is one. So whose distance from the center is one. So like we could draw a picture of that. So like here's a set of real numbers say, here's zero. And so that means that I'm allowed to go one this way. And I'm allowed to go one this way. So what is this actually equal to? So like this a little bit less mysterious, this is equal to just the regular old interval that we're used to like from college algebra, the set of numbers minus one to one, not including the endpoints. Um, another example, um, and this one will also be Maybe I could draw that too, to go back to this. So how should we think about what's this open ball again? Well, it's just an open interval like from college algebra. Um, for another example, let's say X now is the set R2. So think about the plane. So think about ordered pairs and let's take D to be kind of the usual metric on that, which we gave a fancy name like the Euclidean metric, just the distance function. In this case then, um, what we're going to do, uh, how do I do that? Maybe I should give these things some names. So I should give these things, let's say x1, y1, uh, x2, y2. And uh, how do I write that? I would do something like square root of x1 minus x2 quantity squared plus y1 minus y2 quantity squared. Um, what do I wanna think about that? In this case, what would something like b, d, let's say zero, zero is my point. So that is in my definition up here. Zero, zero is like my, you know, point in my set. And uh, let's say in this case, radius one. So what should this be? This should be equal to all points whose distance from the origin uh, zero, zero is one. So we could draw a picture of that. Here's the origin here. And I just want to draw all points whose distance from that is one. And we know that that should just be uh, this circle here. And I'm gonna write it with dotted line here. So I go one to the right, one up, one to the left, and one down. It's a dotted line because remember when we're talking about these balls here, 
uh, in the definition, if I scroll back up, I see that it's supposed to be a strict inequality. And so to, again, to, to highlight that, I want it to be strictly less than whatever that number epsilon is, strictly less than that radius there. So uh, that's why here, that's why we're not including those endpoints. And then similarly here, that's why this, using these dotted lines, so I'm not including the actual circle itself. So what this ball is then is, it's kind of this open, Open's a word we're going to use a lot in a topology class. Um, it is this, this disk that doesn't include what we'll later call, say, the, the boundary. The boundary is the circle itself. So again, that's the basic idea about what a ball is uh, centered at a point. Now, of course, like it, depending on what your set is, maybe it doesn't make sense to really say a ball. So for example, one last one, you know, if we had a goofy set like A, B, C, remember D, this metric um, that was defined by, say, distance between x and y is 1, just if x and y are different. So like the difference between a and b, 1, a and c, 1, but it's 0 if uh, x is equal to y. Remember, this was called the discrete metric. So in this case, um, if we talked about what would be, say, b, d, a, 2. So what are all the things that are distance um, at most two away from A. And so in that case, well, B, C, and A are all distance at most two away from A. So A, B, and C. All right, these guys have distance one from A according to this, whereas A has distance zero away from A according to that piece of the function, that piece of the metric, I mean. Uh, on the other hand, something like B, D, A, one, uh, remember to emphasize, this is just to emphasize too, this ball, right, I want to know what are the points whose distance from A is strictly less than one. Well, in that case, B and C are exactly one unit away from A according to this measurement. And so in that case, only A is a distance less than one away from A. So in this case, it's just A itself. And so that is, again, doesn't really, like there's no, depending on what your set is, it doesn't always make sense to try to think about things geometrically. But a lot of the time, you can get away with drawing a picture and you know, really thinking about an open ball uh, kind of like you would in R2, say. It's a good, it's a good uh, intuition for what an open ball is.